was raised um, on a dairy down in Riverside. Was a, became a nurse and practiced nursing for 40 years and decided I wanted to do something different and return back to more my ag background, things like that. So I decided, why not get a goat? So it was like, so I got the three. Bella was one of the original. And then they, they were so cute, we got three more. So now if we had, now we had six and my husband was like, so what are you gonna do with them? I'm like, I'll make cheese. <laughs> so then we started the process of figuring out how to do it, the rules and everything like that. And ended up here. <laughs> so this is the fun part. Owner and artisan cheesemaker Margie Weaver is living out her passion at Rocky Oaks Goat Creamery. What began with just a few Nubian goats has been milked into a year-round operation and they're also the only goat cheesemaker in all of Fresno County. Hi, pretty. The animals are always happy to see you. They, you know, they will let you know if you're late, things like that. They like their routine. One day we were in, visiting up in the, in the back with the milkers and I, and the goats saw us and they thought we were taking too long and walked up. <laughs> so, I prefer, the nursing was great, and I, and I use a lot of the nursing skills in the go, taking care of the goats, but this is definitely more fun. It's much more rewarding. No doubt Margie loves her herd. She's even given them big names to live up to because each kid is named after a country western singer or a princess. The thing is that we expect a lot from them, and so I think they need to be treated well. We get a, we get a high quality of milk because we feed them well and take care of them. So it's, it's you can only, if, they can only give you what you give them. Plus, when it comes to giving back, Rocky Oaks is helping young minds and others to explore, experience, and get a taste of the goat life. He likes you. The creamery is an excellent place for kids to come out and learn. We're, we're small, they get space, and usually the goats are a big hit. They start chickens or sometimes too, but it's just for more education. Then they don't know that milk comes from a goat, you know, or where food comes from. It's a bigger disconnect now with the the, the Uber Eats or all the other different things. This food just shows up, but to see where it's made and things is a whole other process for kids. Margie says it's a labor of love that makes for a happy life. Once she had the goats, she learned to make cheese and now proudly has eight different kinds of premium small batch farmstead cheese, fresh, ripened, and aged. You know, I was only going to have so many goats and just do this and, you know, take holidays off, things like that sort of thing, that it's worth the work.